Yeah, I think obviously with the experience that we gained from last season, I think going into these big games now, we, we kind of know what to expect and um, we obviously use that experience and not let it um, daunt us, if you can say that. I think obviously going to, going to a, a big um, stadium like going playing at Warrington, I think it, it can be a bit daunting, but um, using the experience that we got from playing it on like, obviously platforms like the BBC are putting those on, I think that's really good just to develop the women's game as well. I think it's good to get that exposure out there and just show what the women's rugby league is all about. Before we get to this weekend's semi-final, um, let's just talk about the games to get to this point. Uh, four games thus far for St. Ellen's, and you've not even conceded a try yet, I don't believe, uh, looking through the results from this season. So how's, how's the Challenge Cup run been thus far? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I think the new concept of the Challenge Cup, obviously, it's changed this year, hasn't it? And we had a group stage and stuff like that. And I think it's been really good because we've had the opportunity to play teams that we've not necessarily like played before because we've, we've come up against Barrow. We played Barrow away in the first game and that was really good. And it was nice to go to a different ground and test ourselves against a different team. And obviously, we, we, uh, we then played the Army and that was obviously a team we, we didn't know what to expect from them because, yeah, they're a team that we've never played against. And I think, I think that was really good to just test ourselves against different teams and just um, just put some, like, what we've been doing in training, put that together and put it out on the pitch. And, and because of last season as well, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone you're facing knows what they're up against and, as a result, raise the game as well. So, I mean, to, to score the amount of points you have done and to concede as little as you have done and go to, you know, tricky places like Barrow and, and achieve those things um that that says a lot i think about about the standard of st ellen's for this season yeah definitely obviously everyone everyone that knows going to barrow way it's it's a tricky place to go because I, I don't think most of us had ever been to barrow before played barrow away and i think it was just an experience for us all obviously with the, being at the first game of the season as well we just we just wanted to go out there and just play play like we've been playing like obviously last year and just put Put out what we've been doing in pre-season, put it out and just have a good team performance. I think that's what we set ourselves out and that was a goal that we had. And and to get to the semi-final, you, you had to uh, beat Huddersfield um, and you played Huddersfield and you played Warrington as well. So um, we mentioned Barrow, but uh, their second season at the top tier for Huddersfield and Warrington, uh, have, have you noticed an, an improvement? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the Huddersfield game, it was one of our closest goals that we've had. And I think defensively they they threw a lot at us and I think that we did get like it was one of the games that we've been tested the most and I think that we needed that going into the semi-final we needed to be tested defensively and obviously um through our attack we just um getting like pressure put pressure put on us kind of and making the right decisions when we're um in attacks so I think the Huddersfield game I think they've grown massively you can like, as again you can tell that they've had a big um season behind them now and they're more they're well established now within like the women's the women's game obviously with the they are in the top half of top half of the um the league this year so I think they'll definitely test some teams again this year so Featherstone this weekend um I mean they but they beat Wigan in the in the quarterfinals didn't they so I mean this this is a tough test this weekend what's your thoughts on it yeah definitely I think Featherstone I think they've um up the game massively from like last season. I think you can tell that they've been training hard throughout pre-season and they've got that goal to test themselves against big clubs and the win against Wigan was um, was really good and I think um, I did watch the game and I think they, they deserved the win. I think you could tell like how hard they wanted it and how much they wanted it. So I think that, um, yeah, it's a big test coming up this weekend. And obviously it's going to be on, on the BBC uh, on their digital platforms, which is cracking stuff at, at Warrington. Um, I mean, you... You're no stranger to these big occasions, as as we've already we've already uh, spoken in the past about, about big occasions, haven't we? So, uh, how important is is that level of experience within the squad as well for these big occasions to not let it get to you too much? Yeah, I think obviously with the experience that we gained from last season, I think going into these big games now, we we kind of know what to expect, and um, we obviously use that experience and not let it um, daunt us, if you can say that. I think obviously going to going to a, a big um, stadium like going playing at Warrington I think it, it can be a bit daunting but um, using the experience that we got from playing it on like obviously platforms like the BBC are putting those on I think that's really good just to develop the women's game as well I think it's good to get that exposure out there and just show what the uh, women's rugby league is all about and, and one game at a time and all that but um, 
you, you're not going to get too ahead of yourself, Leo. No, I, I, you know that's this question. But <laughs> what what drives the squad on to? Because you you achieved so much last year. What what drives you on to to kind of do that all over again? I mean, is it is it even possible to to do what you achieved last year all over again? Do you feel? Um, yeah, obviously, I think we have to have that aim to um, achieve what we achieved last year. We can't we can't lower our standards any, and that is the aim to match what we achieved last year so I think that drives us that drives us from within and we don't we know that we want to like put on a performance every time we play we want to be that team that people want to be and we that's what we want that's what drives us through training obviously we're talking about club rugby league here as well but the world cup at the end of the year as well um I'm imagining that drives everyone on as well. Yeah, obviously, um, that drives everyone. Obviously, the forefront of our minds is the is the Super League and the Challenge Cup, but there is the World Cup at the end of the year. So I think everyone knows that every game they play, they're put on a platform, and it's all eyes are on them. And you know that every game that you play has to be your best game that you can play. So every every game, you just want to get better and better, and just um, open the eyes of like the England coaches, and hopefully um, put yourselves in a position to get get selected for that squad. And, and final question, Lee, just just finally, just a quick plug for, for Sunday's semi-final, as we've already touched upon, live from Warrington, uh, on the BBC as well, for, for those people who can't attend in person. Uh, but what's your, what's your message to the St. Helens faithful who, who will be there cheering you on this weekend? Yeah, I think it's a good good test, um, good for the fans to come down and support us. Obviously, St. Helens men, they don't have a home game this weekend, so I'll definitely get down to Warrington and come down and watch.